All right, so we're back with a box from our good friends at AliExpress and a screen. Let's get started. Well, if you haven't figured it out already, this is an old screen out of a all-in-one computer. I think it was a HP, maybe. Um, I don't know, something that was given to me many years ago, and I just basically scrapped it out for parts. Um, just I don't know why I held on to this, but. Not that great of a screen anyway, but I saw on AliExpress they're selling the kits to turn this into just a, you know, like a standalone monitor or a TV or whatever. It's got a tuner built into it. So um, why don't we go ahead and open the box up here and we'll see what's inside. All right, so inside the box we have a big thing of plastic wrap. Uh, let's see if I can figure out how to unwrap this without destroying everything. So, we have a remote control. We have that board. And we have our input board. And of course, no instructions, but that's okay. I'm sure we can figure it out. There's only a couple of different things here. Well, let's just look at this here real quick first. Got your power input, VGA, HDMI, Analog video and audio. No idea what these two are. Let's see if they're labeled. Don't think so. Um, and of course, this is cable TV or I forget what that is. Coax, I guess. And uh, USB. Or is that display port? Nope, that's USB. And we have the connector which I believe goes to the back of the monitor this is your button buttons for different functions power menu input volume channel and of course you got the remote for all that too and this I believe is the LED power board which replaces this thing here And of course the remote. It's super cheap. Probably takes a couple of AAA batteries. <sighs> yep. I'm going to flip this over here real quick. So yeah, it looks like our main connector is going to go here. Replaces this. And then the two connectors there and there will go there and there. So it should be a pretty easy hookup, and then we'll just have to find a power supply, the right power supply that'll power it up. So I'm going to go ahead and plug everything in and see what we can do. 
All right, so I went ahead and hooked everything up. Um, if you want, I guess I could probably show it to you in a minute here. Um, I looked it up. This thing requires a 12 volt, three amp center positive power supply, which I just happen to have right here. And we have a red glowing light there. There is a power button here, so why don't we go ahead and push the power button, see what happens. Okay, the red light changed to blue. And it looks like the monitor got backlit. And it says no channels, need to scan channels. Okay. Well, why don't we go ahead and hook like a PC up to it or that just to make sure that it displays. And uh, I'll go ahead and get that set up and uh, we'll come right back with that. All right, so I got the computer hooked up, wired up and everything. I got a keyboard hooked up and mouse, make sure it works. So we'll go ahead and power this on. And there is an input button here, so, well, that's, I don't think that's right. There we go. Nope. I'll do. Not sure how to, oh, just does it automatically. Okay, we'll go with that. So why don't we hit power on the computer and see if it displays. All right, yeah. Looks like we are successful. So what I'm gonna do real quick after this kind of loads up, I'm gonna flip the monitor back over after I shut everything back down. I'm going to flip the monitor back over, show you how everything is hooked up, and then um, maybe we'll try some other things on it. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll plug in like a game console or something, see what it looks like. Okay, well, that's probably why it looks like it's running updates for some reason. No, it doesn't matter. It, it works on that, so we can move on to something else. Okay, well, it finally did boot up. The picture isn't that bad. Looks pretty good. I mean, I would imagine it wouldn't be too bad. It's just a, it's not going to be a high resolution. I think this is maximum 10 on this uh, screen is maximum is 1024 by 768, but it looks pretty good. All right, just want to go over a couple of things here. Real quick, um, this particular kit is the M185, I can't even read it. Well, anyway, it actually has this information on the, on the screen. So if you do need to do this to your own screen, there's usually a spot where it like labels the, um, style of screen that it is. Uh, and this one, I just happen to have the thing on it. It is M185XW01V8. That's what you're looking for right there. I don't know if you can... That's, it'll have the model number on there and when you're looking for these kits that's what you want to search for is whatever model number it is that you have so on this there's a couple of wires that you're going to more than likely have that it, well you, you have to have them that'll come off of the screen there's going to be a top and a bottom i believe these are the wires for the backlight i'm not 100 percent sure but Anyway, they plug into this board here. This board plugs into the main board, which is right there, which we already saw. That plugs in there. And it should already come plugged in. And then you have 
this board, these boards here, this is your controller board, if this will focus. I can get it to focus, come on. Focus, there we go. So, and then you have your power menu input, volume up, volume down, channel up, channel down. Those volume up and channel up and down will also work on your menu and inputs so you can select which one you want. And then this board here is a separate one that just has the LED that shows when it's on and off. And then there's another wire that comes off of here that plugs in down here. Now on mine, I already had a wire that was plugged in. It was a little bit different. So this is JC in the future. I realized when I was going through and editing this video that I had totally had this bottom part completely cut off where this wire plugs in from the from the board here. Um, so yeah, again, this is not a locking piece. I'm gonna unplug it here real quick. I need two hands though. Okay, so what I was trying to show in the video is that these are two-sided. There's a kind of silver side there and like a pin side there. And it was the same thing on the one that was in there initially too. This is the wire that was in there. It has this that kind of silver side. In there. So the silver side when it was put in was initially down. So that's how I had this one. Plug this one in with the silver side down. Now you just want to make sure that you do match it up that way and now back to jc in the past and then mine still i still had the original power inverter board for the backlights on it and uh basically you just all you have to do with that is 86 it you know you won't need it anymore because it comes with one i think they have ones that don't come with the inverter board but like, for example, on this one, this connection is not the same connection as what's on this particular unit. They're complete. They're wired completely differently. You probably could hack it together, but... Oh, and by the way, this was $20 for a monitor this size. It seems like between 17 to 25 seems to be about the going rate for them. Anyhow, uh, I think I'm going to try to hook up the Xbox to it and just see what it looks like. All right, I think that's going to do it for this video. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this setup. Um, I may stick it in a wall somewhere or that or build a box for it or something. I don't, honestly, I don't know. I didn't really think too much about what I was actually going to do with it. But, um, or maybe just make another monitor out of it. Who knows? But yeah, so far, everything seems to work okay. Uh, if you have anything you want to go over on this with me or uh, any questions on it or anything you're curious about, any of the settings or that, let me know. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.